Welcome back to our tutorial video series. In this video, we will guide you step by step on how to create and use a loop item. Using the loop item for course, you can see the courses on the archive course page and the profile page according to the pre-built template of your choice. They will not be displayed as configured in appearance a customize a courses. To create a loop item, Please make sure that you have the latest versions of Aduma and Thim Kit installed on your website. And you should enable the following features, Grid Container, Flexbox Container, and Nested Elements. Simply go to your WordPress dashboard elementor settings a feature and find those features. Toggle the switch to active for each one. Don't forget to click on the Save Changes button. Now, let's move on to creating a loop item. 1. On the Navigate to Thim Elementor and click on Add New Template. First, we need to select the template type, and in this case, we will choose Loop Item. Choose the template name of your preference. Select the post type, and we're choosing Course. Choose the layout you want. If a layout is available, you can choose to edit it based on that layout, or you can create your own layout. For example, we will select this layout. Finally, click on Create Template. To edit the loop item template, you can click on each component for editing purposes. You have the flexibility to alter the color of course categories by following these steps. Click on Style. Select a different text color. Likewise, you can also edit photos, course titles, and more. To add a new element, follow these steps. Click on the icon with 9 dots. Locate the desired element and drag and drop it to the preferred location. If you wish to add a text element, follow these steps. Find and click on Text Editor. Then, click on Dynamic Tags to choose the text type Don't forget to click Update to save the changes. To use the loop course item you have created, navigate to Customize a Course Settings and select the template that created. Once you've chosen a template, you can preview how it will appear. Don't forget to click the Publish button. After updating the loop course item template successfully, the courses on the course archive page and the profile page will be displayed according to the template used. This is archive course page. And this is profile page. I hope this feature will make your process easier for you. If you find this video helpful and want to see more tutorials from us, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorials.